Rachel Holt for Nesson.com alongside Zach Hawks here at Gillette Stadium. The Patriots are undefeated at home so far this season, and they'll try to stay that way when the 6-4-1 Vikings visit Gillette Stadium on Sunday. Let's talk players to watch. Who are you looking at for the Pats? One guy for the Patriots I'm watching is a guy that we'll see this weekend for the first time since September, and that's Rex Burkhead. Uh, just activated off, in, off injured reserve this week. He was on there for eight games with a neck injury. Not sure how, what kind of a role he's going to have once he comes back because even before his injury, he had kind of lost some ground to Sony Michelle. And then Sony Michelle, who is now healthy himself, had a fantastic game against the Jets the other day. So I think it's going to be a little bit of a complimentary role for Rex Burkhead, at least at first. But he does bring something that no other Patriots running back really has, and that's that's some versatility. He's, he's a very good runner, a very good pass catcher, and with Sony Michelle, James White, they're a little bit more one-dimensional. So I think it's going to open up some uh, new possibilities in this Patriots offense. Very good for the Patriots. Vikings wide receiver Adam Thielen has 900-yard games so far this year. Is it safe to say that he's the guy to watch for Minnesota? Yeah, he's pretty incredible. I mean, I, th I think he's he was, he was a guy who came into the league as, a, as an undrafted free agent a couple of years ago, kind of a, an underdog story for a few years. Not an underdog story anymore. This guy is legit. He is legitimately one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. Leads the NFL in catches, is second in receiving yards, up in the top five in uh, in receiving touchdowns. And especially if Stephon Diggs, the, the Vikings' other wide receiver, who's been limited or actually hasn't practiced yet this week, if he can't play, Adam Thielen really is going to be most most of Minnesota's offense in this game, so he's definitely the guy that the Patriots are going to have to watch out for. Game time is set for 425, and we'll be there, so make sure you keep it on Nesson.com for all your Patriots news.